Hello folks and welcome to Let's Play Small Games with me, Halcyon. It's been a while since I've done an entry in this series. So, today I'm bringing you Russian Six Pack, a 1993 game by Mir Productions. It's a game I've played extensively uh, when I was younger. Uh, one problem, I actually haven't tested this. Currently, I dug it up from my archives, and uh, one thing I haven't tested is whether Shadows runs now, but uh, usually there was a problem with the fact that everything runs except Shadows. I played it when I was very little, and then it stopped working due to some reasons that I completely don't know. But let's start with Flying Pictures, idea by Denis Martinov, Martinov? Hmm, who knows. Uh, well. There goes me trying to be polite with credits. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, cool. Um, Alright, we might not have sound, but that's not the worst thing that can happen. Alright, the mechanics are relatively simple. You shoot things that are like the thing that you're currently holding. Oh. I can't have the mouse cursor. Interesting. Um, you can also bounce it off the wall and go vertical. Sometimes that is useful, oftentimes it isn't. Mm, of course, grabbing the skull and crossbones is not a good idea, and grabbing the player icon is an excellent idea. Right? Um, around ends when you have cleared out pretty much... well, not everything, but most of the things that exist on the map. Alright. Um, this is gonna be not cool. Mm. Alright, let's do it like that. Grab this, and... Skull. Yeah. The thing is, uh, the way it works is, when you grab something, your selected icon changes to that which was behind what you were grabbing. The thing that you grabbed disappears, and the thing that was behind it gets changed for what you had in your hand. Alright. Sacrifice a life. But get a chance at this. Grab the apple, spend the apple. If there's nothing behind, then it gets reverted to previous thing. Yeah. And this should clear it out. Yeah, that clears it out. <sighs> you start at every level with a couple of extra lives, so being careful in one level does carry over quite directly. Alright, uh, grab that, grab that. Ooh, don't want to grab the blues because I don't have anywhere to get them. Right now I do, so instead I'll grab the green here. Huh, I could actually do this. <laughs> Grab a life. Grab that. Oh. Excellent. Have a white. Have a green. Have a white. That turns into pink. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and there it goes. <laughs> mm. Now I could grab, well, I can only grab pinks, so what's the best thing I could do? Uh, there are no good answers here. 
Yeah. Do that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's green anyway. Okay. Okay. Um. On my last life. And I'm probably gonna lose it right there. There. And that's it. I can't solve it. Right. Whatever. Whoops. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Leave it. Okay. That was flying pictures. Um, next up, Crete. Crete is something I might be better at now than I was when I was young because it's a thing about planning. Uh, the goal is, okay, static, dynamic. Uh, let's go for dynamic. The idea is that you are creating a path through a maze for your Cretan. That's Cretan, not Cretan. Uh, I need this here. All right, Cretan, move. No, don't move. Do anything but move. Um, there, there. Now, uh, can I make you move? No, I think you do it on your own. Right? Yeah, the cool thing about the mechanics here is that about the dynamic mode is that you can actually have your guy um, move part way and you don't have to plan out the entire thing beforehand. Okay. Um, that's cool, I guess, but I want it like this. Now, can I make you move? Ah, if I press space, he does that. Okay. This is not going to be simple. Okay, I need... Yeah, something like... That. Click, 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 and once there is a way through, he moves automatically. Uh, the levels get progressively more difficult and the only loose state is when you get to level 3 or 4 or 5 or whatever when you encounter the Minotaur. Minotaur. Um, as you can see the planning is often made more... oh! Hello. The planning is often made more difficult by not being able to tell which dots correspond to which um, tile. Alright, that's level 3. Still no Minotaur. Hmm. And we got a passageway. Yeah, in static you can't move your guy. I think I already said that. Well, not until it's finished. All right. Um. Hmm. 
Okay, and excellent. Yeah, oftentimes you don't actually need it to be dynamic mode, but having dynamic mode actually helps you deal with the Minotaur much, much, much better. Because the Minotaur will come and eat your face the moment he has the opportunity. Uh. Yeah. Dude, dude. Um, all right. Hmm. No, I still haven't actually figured out how to make him move. It seems extensive clicking and spacing and whatnot helps. Ah, there we go. Avoid the Minotaur. Uh, right, uh, the Minotaur, the Minotaur, the Minotaur, actually, oh. Uh, the way you avoid the Minotaur is by giving him a, hello, will you please move, no? Uh, guys, move around. Ah, there we go. The Minotaur will do his best to get to you. So we will disconnect the Minotaur and okay, move around, please. Move, move. No, not there. Ah, there we go. His pathing algorithm is kind of weird. Wait, what? Why did nobody tell me? Oh. Oh, that's how you <laughs> Okay. Damn, there's apparently a mechanic I have never known about. That you can right click to change the layout of the walls. Cool. And quit. Next we have Lineman, which is um, reminiscent of Pipe Dream, except this time you have to create. Um, yeah. Circuits of pipes. They need to be closed. Ooh. And we have a cross here, and it gets deleted. So, that's not going to work. That might work if I get a corner there, if not, hmm. damn hiccups. Yep, it works. And the board just keeps filling. Let's make it more interesting. Add a bit more speed. Uh, get that, get that. Okay, that might connect someday. Probably not. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. Turn straight, turn excellent. Uh, right. That uh, just move things around. Oftentimes you find yourself doing small moves just to add some chaos to the system, you know, maybe bring out things like that. Mm. 
and then then you turn to one of your major projects one of the big ones all right but this is boring this bores me <laughs> this bores me already all right um master of bombs it's uh s fairly often seen Ooh, let's take normal level two a simple concept of tetris except you have connecting areas and that's the way you clear things out detonator pins more points are awarded for larger combos of course uh, do like that do like that do that yep cool connect here connect here uh, open that option connect here connect there connect here yep yeah, and k boom kaboom yeah that's done that's there this one's here um, drop that here, detonate that, you know, it just goes on like this. In case there wasn't enough war in your Tetris, this is, this is the game for you. <laughs> no, that's going to be good. Uh, here, connect. Connect, connect, don't connect. Uh, ah, it's filling up, it's filling up. No. Disconnecting things that should be connected. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. The pins, they come too often in the beginning and not often enough in, at the end. So, there we have Master of Bombs. Next up, fast fringe. <laughs> fast fringe. Uh, again, my dialogue and interplay productions. Uh, let's go for something advanced. The idea here is um, to create figures by connecting straight lines between these pins. Uh, hold on. You can cross your own lines here. That wasn't an example of that, but just things to note. Crossing strands is an option. Shoop. I'm really sad you can. Uh, we don't have sound here. Because when you complete a uh, figure in Fast Fringe, it has this funny uh, zipper sound. <sighs> oh, whoops. Mm. Okay, fine. Let's just pump it up a little. Bring it up a notch. I accidentally pressed escape. Okay, that works. No. No. Eh, 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 no. Finish it. Okay. Let's do a quick one there. Okay, clear that. Um. Is there any convoluted way I can do this? No. Sad. Sad face. Convoluted ways are usually the better ways. Uh, 
Yeah, but there's too many walls here for me to actually do anything complex. Um, and that's game over. All right. And shadows, which was oh wait a minute, have I? I've been an idiot. <laughs> Anyway, this is a game I uh, played the crap out of while it was working. The idea is that you have this targeting reticule, which moves on its own. You can affect some things with the arrow keys. As in, it's going to bounce on its trajectory on its own. It has its own velocity and it keeps to it. You can actually slightly modify that. For example, it's moving very slowly in one direction, then I can actually make it move in the other one. Oh, there was an invisible asteroid. Uh, come on, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Grab these. Okay, good. Grab that one. Good. What's the natural move? I see. Bounce and and got it. Good. I can catch it. I can catch it. Yes. Ha! <laughs> I caught it. Yeah, it's. Uh, you have reached the next level. Your bonus is zero. Every level is timed, and if you let the asteroids escape, once the boundary disappears, you lose. Okay. Also. Oh, invisible one. Um, it draws these pretty pictures in the background from the debris. Okay, time, one minute. Oh, I saw an invisible one. Uh, that's also an in incentive to um, blow up asteroids in as many diverse places as possible because then you can actually track the invisible ones. Uh, something is being really weird with my controls. Uh, I can catch it. I can catch it. No. 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 Time's running out. Yeah. <laughs> What's my bonus? My bonus is four. So basically the bonus is time times level, I think. Uh, Alright, get ready. Do one more. Okay. Got the greys, got the invisible, there's another invisible. gonna happen. Yeah, got one and didn't get the other one. Got the other one. Still half a minute to go. Now I'm gonna miss everything. Well, pretty much everything. Okay. Smack, smack, smack. And missed. And missed. Yeah, got you. Time's running out. Come on, bounce. Bounce both of you. No, 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 and it's gone. Uh, 
Goodbye. <laughs> I'll just name Halcyon. <sighs> Alright, fantastic. You'll be the last record. There we have it, folks. The Russian six pack. I really loved it when I was a kid. And now I'm probably never going to play it again. <laughs> because it still handles not too well. Thanks for watching. So long.